What's up guys, this is Brad from Keepers of the River. Doing a little tie for you guys tonight. Uh, tonight we're gonna be tying a streamer called the Miller Time. Um, this is a, a streamer that's really worked well for me. You know, it's a great trout streamer. Works great as a bass streamer, um, even for pike, musky. Um, where I've uh, found a lot of luck with this uh, streamer specifically is it's uh, gotten me a good amount of follows and catches for bull trout. Um, there's a couple patterns or color schemes that this is tied in. Um, I know it's tied in a baby rainbow, a baby brown trout, and like a chartreuse color too. Um, tonight we're gonna be tying our own little uh, color scheme that we call a dirty canary. So to get started, what we have in here is a TM code 200R in a size four. Um, and the thread that we're gonna be using is a GSP gel spun thread in a GSP 100 in white. Um, so to start, we're just gonna get our thread started here with the front of the hook, get a little base started. And then cut that tag end off there and then bring it back up to the front. Um, the barbell eyes that we're gonna be using for this pattern is uh, Spirit River eyeballs and 3 16 gold. And this is, the eyes are actually red on this pattern. Um, so we're gonna Start this on the top of our hook here. These eyeballs are kind of strange. They're really thin in the middle and really thick on the edge, so they're kind of weird to get started correctly. Um, so you kind of got to finagle them a little bit. But once you get some wraps started, you're going to actually flip these to the underside because um, this pattern does not ride hook point up, it rides hook point down. And so go ahead and do whatever technique you have to get your barbell eyes secured. Um, you know, make some cross wraps and wraps in front and then around the top. And once you've got that ready you bring your threads back towards the back of the hook here where we're going to secure our bunny strip and then to finish off our barbell eyes i like to put a little dab of zappa gap right on top there it doesn't have to be much okay so we're going to bring our thread right back to about the barb on this pattern. <clears throat> and then we're going to cut uh, a piece of rabbit strip. And this is just, um, this, is, this isn't a magnum strip or a micro strip. This is just a standard rabbit strip. And this is barred yellow that we've got here. And so <clears throat> what you wanna do is this rabbit strip's gonna be about, oh, two shank lengths in, in size, and you're going to kind of measure it out here on where you're going to kind of tie it in. And we're not really tying it in. This is just giving it support to where the whole thing is and just kind of waving around on the pattern. Um, so you're gonna kind of peel this back just to you know, expose the hide. And then you're going to make just a loose thread wrap on it. Get it kind of on your hook there, and you're just gonna take two thread wraps is all I use to secure this to the back of the hook. And once the, uh, the hair kind of flattens it out, you can't even see this thread wrap back here. So just two thread wraps, and then I like to do two or three really close to the hide to kind of cinch it back. Then you can take this hide and kind of get it out of your way. And then we're gonna tie in our next material here, which is uh, hairline cactus chenille. In pearl, this is size large. This is going to be um, some of the body material for the fly. Um, now, if you look at the actual Miller Time streamer um, pattern, it doesn't use this cactus chenille for the body. It uses a different thing. So, this is just how we tie it. This isn't necessarily um, the official way to tie the Miller Time streamer. Um, so once. You've got that, you can peel some of the stuff back to 
kind of expose the cord on this chenille and then you're going to tie that in on the hook here and just tie that back all the way up tight to your rabbit strip and then we're going to bring it to right up <clears throat> just kind of behind our eyes there just a little ways back and then we're going to take this chenille and just start wrapping it real tight wraps so it gives a real full body and we're just gonna wrap this piece all the way up to where our thread is at and then we're gonna tie it off strip here and because we have these loose thread wraps back here you can kind of if you didn't give yourself enough room you can always pull this rabbit strip back up over it so check your length you want that to get pretty close to the hook eye there okay so next <clears throat> material that we're going to be using is we're going to be layering some ice stub here to kind of give a, a throat and body effect up front and so First ice stub we're going to be using is ice stub UV pearl, and um, you can use the regular pearl kind if you like. Um, this kind we're using for this pattern is the UV. You want to get yourself, you know, generous little clump and kind of preen it out and get it nice and stacked on top of itself here. And then what we're going to do. is we're just going to put this on our hook and just tie it in right in the middle there a couple wraps and then we're going to pull it back and do a couple wraps like so you can kind of take your fingers and pull away any of the loose fibers out of that and then the next ice stub that we're going to use is ice stub olive brown and same thing, you're going to take yourself a you know, generous little clump of it and preen, preen it out and you're going to tie it in same way, just right in front or kind of on top of your pearl eye stub. Like so now what we can do is turn our pattern back over here pull our rabbit strip up over the top and I'm just gonna this can be kind of tough because you don't want to make the front of this too bulky but you want your rabbit strip to be nice and secured. So. I kind of shorted myself on this one just a little bit. you need to, you can always go up around your eyes too. Tie that in. So once you've got your rabbit strip tied in up front, you can create yourself just a little bit of a thread head here. And then the last finishing touch kind of on the fly is we're going to take just a small little clump, you know, 
about three or four pieces of crystal flash here and the crystal flash that we're using is root beer colored kind of matches our yellow rabbit strip and our brown ice dub and you're gonna lay the strands on top of where your little thread head is and then you're gonna wrap up double your crystal flash over the top and secure it and then you can go ahead and whip finish make sure you got all your crystal flash out of the way and then just do a four or five turn whip finish this GSP you can really stretch and put torque on to really seat that whip finish into. And then here to kind of finish the head out, you can put, you know, um, some UV resin or um, I just put just a very small dab of super glue. And then you can take your crystal flash and I like to stretch it and cut it just past the edge of the rabbit tail. And there you have your fly. Kind of clean up some of this ice stub at the bottom here. But that's it. This crystal flash creates a really nice movement in the water along with the, the ice stub and the rabbit strip. Once again, this color scheme we call it Dirty Canary. Uh, but there's a bunch of different color schemes that you can do this with. You can really, um, it's nice about this pattern being so simple as it is. You can really do so many color schemes with different kinds of ice dub, rabbit strips, even barbell eyes, um, you know, body colors and everything. So once again, this is the Miller Time Streamer in a Dirty Canary color. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at keepersoftheriver.com. Thanks for watching.